As expected, heating of the world ocean is occurring. More than 70% of Earth is covered by oceans. As I have pointed out many times in this space, citing the designed-to-fail Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, Earth is amid the most abrupt planetary heating event in its history. In addition, according to the IPCC, climate change is irreversible. Although the IPCC pointed out that climate change is very abrupt and also irreversible more than five years ago, you would never know about either phenomenon based on reports from government entities, corporate media outlets, or paid climate scientists. An article at phys.org published March 3, 2025 is titled, Scientists Highlight Alarming Rise in Marine Heat Waves Worldwide. Here's the lead, quote, a team of Earth scientists, marine biologists, oceanologists, and climate change specialists affiliated with multiple institutions in Australia and the UK is warning of the dangers associated with an increase in the number of marine heat waves in recent years. End quote. This is hardly surprising. We occupy an overheated Earth, largely as a result of burning a lot of fossil fuels during the last 275 years or so. As a result of the aerosol masking effect, Cessation of this activity is the fastest path to the extinction of humans and therefore all life on Earth. My apologies for mentioning the abrupt, irreversible nature of our predicament for the thousandth time in this space. The article at phys.org provides an excellent summary of the peer-reviewed paper in the renowned Nature Climate Change. According to the article at phys.org, the peer-reviewed paper indicates that, quote, heat waves negatively impact ocean processes, ocean life in the overheated regions, and coastal communities. Such heat waves are also associated with storms that can cause havoc when they make their way to land. End quote. Four paragraphs near the end of the article in phys.org tell the story. Quote, Over the past several years, scientists, the international press, environmental groups, and many others have noted an increasing number of marine heat waves in all the world's oceans, in which certain regions of the ocean experience higher than average temperatures over an abnormally long period of time. In their commentary, the authors note that one group of researchers found that the number of such heat waves in 2023 to 2024 was 240% higher than any other year in recorded history. They also note that the more often such heat waves occur, the more difficult it is for affected areas to recover. Prior research has shown that marine heat waves lead to increased evaporation, which fuels storms such as Cyclone Gabrielle, which killed 11 people in New Zealand back in 2023. Prior research has also shown that abnormally high water temperatures can lead to dolphins and whales swimming closer to shore than normal as they follow their prey, which often leaves them stranded. It can also kill some creatures such as mussels that cannot simply move to cooler water, Millions have died thus far. High water temperatures can also harm coral reefs, leading to bleaching, degradation, or death, which in turn leads to loss of ecosystems and death of the sea creatures that lived there. End quote. The article at phys.org concludes with the expected call for the masses to stop burning fossil fuels. Quote, the team notes actions that conservation groups can take to save some of the creatures at risk but ultimately, the only real solution is to stop pumping greenhouse gases into the atmosphere so that the planet will stop growing warmer, end quote. As I have come to expect, there is no mention of the aerosol masking effect. It's the same old story, urging most of us to reduce our consumption of fossil fuels while the billionaires are joined by reporters in maintaining aerosol masking. I now turn to the comment in Nature Climate Change, a peer-reviewed journal that is part of the renowned Nature series. The peer-reviewed paper was published February 28, 2025, entitled Ocean Extremes as a Stress Test for Marine Ecosystems and Society. Crafted by 13 scholars, the abstract tells the story. Quote, In 2023 to 2024, widespread marine heat waves associated with record ocean temperatures impacted ocean processes, marine species, ecosystems, and coastal communities, with economic consequences. Despite warnings, interventions were limited. Proactive strategies are needed for inevitable future events. End quote. The proactive strategies needed to prevent inevitable future events involve the masses reducing their consumption of fossil fuels. Wait, what? 
As I indicated, the future events are, quote, inevitable, end quote. I thought I knew the meaning of the word inevitable. I must have been mistaken. However, I'm pretty sure reducing the consumption of fossil fuels is the fastest path to human extinction as a result of the loss of aerosol masking. Preventing the inevitable will be a real magic trick, like pulling a rabbit from a hat or sawing a person in half. 